I'm going to show you how to calibrate your DJI Spark camera gimbal. You will need these three applications. The first one is the Python programming language. And the second one is uh, PY Serial, which is a serial program that interfaces between the Python and your USB cable to talk to um, your drone. And the uh, third is uh, from GitHub. It's the DJ DJI Firmware Tools. And GitHub is um, it's where programmers store code. First step is to uh, highlight the uh, python.org downloads and you want to uh, copy and paste that into a browser and you want to go to that uh, site. At the time of the creation of this video, uh, the latest version of Python was 3.10.5 and so what you want to do is on the yellow button, whatever version it is, you want to click that. And once you click the uh, yellow button, it will download Python to your downloads folder. Then you want to copy and paste the PY serial link into the browser and you want to uh, go to that website. You want to select the PY serial at the time of this recording was uh, 3.5. It's a tar file, t .tar .gc. you want to click that and download. I've already downloaded PY0 before, but you get the point. It will, when you do it, it will say downloading uh, the file. Next, you want to copy and paste the DJI Firmware Tools link into um, your browser. And then you want to go to that um, site. And you want to click on the green tab that says code. And then you want to click the um, download zip files. Then you want to go and open up File Explorer. Click on your C drive and create a new folder called DJI. Then you want to go to your download folder. You want to extract the DJI zip. And you want to extract the PY serial. I have uh, WinRare to um, unpack or extract uh, zip files because I do a lot of rare RAR, that's a, a zip file format. And um, if you don't have a zip file program, you can. there's a free one. There's WinZip and there's, uh, I think it's 7-Zip. Make sure you go to their actual website to download them. Once you've extracted PY Serial and the uh, DJI firmware tools, you want to open up each folder and you want to highlight the contents and then copy and paste into the DJI folder on the C drive.
At this point, it would be a good time to install Python. I've already got it installed, so I can't show you what it's going to look like installing it. Um, when you do install it, you want to find the download and then um, right-click it and click Run with Run as Administrator. And um, you'll get an opening screen, and you want to make sure that at the bottom you check the box to add Python to your path list, your path statement. And if you forget to check that, at the very end of this video, I'll show you how to manually add the path statement in. If you, if you did check the box, you, you don't have to watch that unless you want to, and, and you can consider the video completed. You can check to see if you have Python already installed on your computer. You want to type CMD in the search box, and at the top left, you'll see Command Prompt. You want to click that. And then you want to type in PY and hit enter. And it should return uh, the version of Python if it's already installed and that the, your path statement's correct in Windows. Another way to check is just to open up your apps folder in uh, Windows and scroll down to the P's and see if Python's in there. So now you want to plug your uh, Spark into your computer using a USB cable and then turn on the Spark. Then type Device Manager into the search box. Then click on Device Manager. And you want to find your uh, COM ports. Under Ports, COM, LPT, you should see a new entry, which is, this will be your Spark. And mine's COM7, and yours could be COM7, it could be COM5, it could be COM6. More than likely, it'll be something different. And you can verify which one this is by just unplugging your USB cable, and it should disappear. And then when you plug it back in again, it will come back. And you want to write this down or remember, remember it because we will need this COM port to uh, configure the um, PY serial so it will be able to talk to your uh, Spark. This is the fun part. This is where um, we actually do the calibration. And um, what you want to do is uh, type CMD into the uh, search box. You can either right click the command prompt app and click uh, run as or you can cl click the on the right hand column you can click the uh, the run as then you want to change directory to the uh, DJ DJI folder so it's a pretty good idea to uh, copy the um, commands into like notepads so you can just highlight them and um, copy and paste them in and you can see where um, and I the port it says port and it says com seven and that's the the port that uh, my my sparks using yours may use com seven it may use com six it may use com five they're all, they're all going to be different and the WM one hundred is the uh, spark. And you paste it into the COM window by just right-clicking. Do the same for the second command.
At this point, you should be good to go. When you installed Python, and you, if you forgot to check the, the little box down at the bottom, it said um, add Python to your uh, uh, pass statement. This is the way you can manually add it. What you want to do is type in Python in the search. Then at the top where it says the Python app, you want to right click on it and click open file location. Then you want to highlight the, uh, the file location. In, uh, in search, type in um, sysdm.cpl, then click environment variables, then click edit, then click new and paste in um, what you highlighted, the, the file folder structure where Python was located at. And then do it again and then um, add a, back, a backslash and the word scripts. And that's um, plural, not singular, scripts. You should have it in there twice. I just, it looks like I just have the one with scripts, but you should, you should paste it in there twice. And the second one should have the backslash scripts. And the other one should just end it the, um, when you uh, pasted it in there as, and then click OK.